Good morning everyone, my name is Jonathan Fingers and today I'm going to do a SharePoint demo on Office 365. What I'm going to do is detail the benefits of SharePoint and how it can work in a remote workforce while accessing documents and editing them on the go regardless of the hardware or device that you have in your hands. Please take into account that anything you see on my screen from here on in will be reflected across all different hardwares, be it iPhone, iPad, Android, Windows device or full laptop. What we would do to access SharePoint is effectively a collaborative tool and document media in the cloud. What we want to do is go to our Internet Explorer, open up on our default browser. What you'll have is portal.microsoftonline.com and this is your tenancy on Office 365 that includes your SharePoint subscription. It will remember my username and I have it to remember my password and I'll press sign in. What this is effectively doing is allowing me to dial into a Microsoft data center to retrieve information under my Office 365 tenancy. As the administrator here is where you will land in order to maintain, um, administrate and control the health of your Office 365 tenancy and effectively your SharePoint infrastructure. What we have here is the ability to add new users, create different policies within the SharePoint site and see the general health of our organization. If you see down the bottom there, you see plan maintenance. This is where Microsoft are telling us that they're doing an update in the Microsoft data center, but effectively you will not experience any downtime. To jump straight into SharePoint, what we want to do is we want to go to on the top right hand side, we want to go to sites. What effectively this is allowing me to do is dial into a team site and public site, where we want to go is the team site. And what this is actually do, doing is opening up Telefonica O2 cloud services Microsoft SharePoint and where myself, my colleague and our people within the cloud services team actually collaborate on documents. As you can see, it looks a lot like an internet. What you can actually do is <clears throat> customize it to suit your specific business, which can be very powerful if you have sales reps on the road with tablets. What they can effectively do is be accessing your internet for all of their presentations, their quotations, etc., etc. What we want to do is be able to have a document library in the cloud, always on, always accessible, regardless of the hardware that we have in our hands and regardless of location. So once I have a Wi-Fi connection, I can access this SharePoint and what I can do is start collaborating effectively. As you can see, it's like our file server. What we can do is we can access different files, different documents in the cloud. What I'm going to do is press new documents. I want to create a new folder within my Microsoft SharePoint. I'm going to say SharePoint demo. I'm going to press save. That's now creating that folder within the Office 365 tenancy under cloud services for O2. As you can see, there it is there, the customer, the SharePoint demo. What I now want to do is actually access that folder. And what I want to do is actually start adding to it. So what I do is I minimize my screen. I have a document on my desktop that I want to share with people within my organization. What effectively do I do here? I drag, I drop. That document is now accessible by people in my organization in the same way that I have access on Microsoft SharePoint. What we're doing is we're seeing Dropbox and other end user design technologies creeping into businesses and what we're trying to do is alleviate that element of miscontrol. By using Microsoft SharePoint you maintain full control of the information of your documents and effectively your intellectual data. But the powerful piece is we want to be able to work on our documents on the go. So this is me on a laptop but if I leave the, the office this afternoon I only have my iPad in my hand. I go through the same means to the portal, to the document, to my SharePoint demo folder, and I want to access this document. I open it, and what it allows me to do is open it in Excel Online, live versions of the Microsoft Office applications in the cloud, and as you can see, I'm looking at the document. Effectively, this is what the likes of Dropbox will do, only we're now doing it on a secure platform and a business platform. But what we want to be able to do is, as it's Office 365 and built to work with Office 365, we want to be able to edit them on the go. So what I can do is have the option to edit in the Excel web app. So on my iPad, I'm in a browser experience. I press edit in Excel web app. It opens up in Excel online, the live version in Excel, and I can just start typing. So test one, and this will save in real time. So if you think about it, there's two people that want to access this document within my organization. What I've done is I have uploaded it. I have made my addition. I have pressed the Press test one, it has saved that in real time. My colleague now needs to access it back in the office. He does not or she does not have to access it in a web app. He or she can then on the top right press open in Excel and what it will do is stream down with my additions. 
what it's doing is actually streaming from the cloud over your Wi-Fi connection. Very, very small document, so it will come down very, very quickly. And what it's allowing me to do is actually use the full version of Excel on my desktop uh, and have a more collaborative approach to working. What you will see now is the document open and what you will see is the ability to then edit in the full version of Excel. What I can do is work on it. I can also have dual editing. And what effectively we can do is actually start uploading and sharing information more collaboratively. Effectively what this will do is cut down traffic across your exchange server. The old model of sharing um, documentation and project work is effectively attaching it to an email, sending it across your exchange environment. The, your colleague then edits it, sends it back. There's now two copies of that across your exchange, which means leading to artificial data growth in gigabytes across your exchange environment. What we want to do is we want to have a more collaborative approach within the SharePoint site. So effectively, what you're getting as part of Office 365, out of the box, if you will, is 10 gigabytes of shared storage in order to collaborate within the business. Each user then gets 500 megs within that SharePoint as well. And as you can see, lots of functionality in actually building and tailoring to your business's specific requirement. On the other hand, there is documents that I want accessible on the go that I do not want to share within the business, but I want to say I have the same functionality. What we have built into SharePoint is OneDrive. And this is OneDrive for business. So as you can see here, this is effectively all of my documents stored in the cloud, backed up and replicated. Effectively, these are locked down only to me and only I can use this document. And as you can see, it's locked down only to me. So effectively what we can do is then actually have the ability to invite internal or external parties into that, into that document. We press share. I enter in the email address. I enter in a message saying, hi, etc. This is the document that we want like to share with you. And effectively what that will do is send them a pipeline link, uh, a link in, through an email. They then click that link or come into your document and only that document that you've shared with them. And effectively, you now have the ability to share internally and externally from your OneDrive and from your SharePoint. As part of the service, what you're getting is 25 gigs of personal business storage, and that's expandable by 15, uh, to 50, 75, and 100 gigs. Effectively, if you think about it, if I was to ask you, what would happen if your desktop or your laptop died in front of you there now at the moment? Effectively, you would say that you would lose an element of information. If you're very good at backing up, you might only lose a little. Effectively, if my laptop cards in front of me at the moment, everything is in SharePoint, everything is in OneDrive. I go down to PC World, I buy a new laptop for 300 quid, and effectively now I just sync them back to my OneDrive in SharePoint, and what I do is I access all of my documents on the go. In terms of an offline instance, as you can see, instead of saving to my desktop and my documents, what I've done is created OneDrive and SkyDrive, and effectively what this is allowing me to do is access all of the same documents not going through the portal or the browser it's the same as if I'm accessing it on my desktop that is effectively Microsoft SharePoint you've got 10 gigs of shared storage in the cloud for the business 500 megs per user that is expandable by 13 pence per gig per month through O2 if you have a new employee that needs access to all of the new HR documents with O2, it is a flexible model. You can now simply add new users, add new licenses, and give them access to all of your company information. Or alternatively, they maintain the control of actually controlling your SharePoint environment so that the right people are accessing the right documents and the information that is relevant to them. The technology is based on Office 365, as is with Exchange Online. Your documents are stored within a Microsoft data center, primarily in Dublin, within the European grid. And then what they're doing is replicating within that data center. So if you delete a document fully out of your Microsoft SharePoint, you have 14 days to retain that information. You then have final replication to a Dior site in Amsterdam, now giving you uh, redundancy and replication, disaster recovery for all of your documents. What I would do is if you have found the video interesting today, by all means contact your account manager for a live SharePoint demo for a conversation how it's relative to your business and how effectively we can really change the way you are working in a small way without causing any cultural shock, but by improving productivity um, and collaboration across the business. Thank you very much for your time and thanks very much for watching the video.
talk to you soon. Bye-bye.